Hey you, what are you doing? Well, you are here now, so how about a little fun? Fun? Got your attention, eh? Yeah, let me explain. This here is a race against time. Scream across that finish line as fast as you can. Tilt the Wii Remote to lean your cart, lean just the right angle at the corner, and you'll get a nice speed boost. Lose your concentration, and you are cruising around the bend. Though, and, uh, you'll run right off the rails. If that happens, you lose the race. Now that was even, that was unbelievable. Even I can't go that fast. Here you go, I found this treasure right here on this very island. And we get a piece of heart. So basically if you take the, do the heart stopping course, and you, and when you get to that fork in the road where you can take either the left or the right path, take the right path because you'll go higher uphill, which will in turn allow you to go downhill, downhill even faster when you get around to going downhill. Alright, so outside the sparring hall is Fledge for another minigame. Hey Link, I'm pretty much maxed out on push-ups. Wonder what exercise I can pick up next. Whoa, that's one sweet bow you've got there, Link. Oh, you're a total natural with it, too. Yep. You're amazing, Link. Even if I work my way up to 3,000 push-ups, I'll never be as cool as you. I've got it. Why don't you show me how good you are with your bow? I'm going to toss up some pumpkins into the air, okay? You show me how good you are by filling them full of arrows. Throwing these pumpkins in the air will give me a good workout, too. Two birds with one stone. Alright. Get over 600. I have to get over 600 points. So it begins.
Yes! Yes! Barely did it. Oh, finally. You got 610 points. That's beyond amazing, Link. The hopes of the Night Academy are truly riding on your shoulders, Link. Take this as a symbol of friendship between you and me, Link. And we got the last piece of heart in the game. Woohoo! I am never going to try that again. Alright, so we're inside the Thunderhead right now, and we're trying to get some two of the last three goddess treasures left in the game. Now, I'm not entirely sure how to get these. I'm gonna have to turn around. Look. There we go. Apparently we gotta dig our way in. I knew at some point we'd have to do this for more than what we've usually used it for. Don't worry, Buggy, I'm leaving. Alright, so we got Goddess Treasure number one! Which is a small quiver that can be useful depending on if you want to buy them or not. Let's see, where is the other one that's on this island? Hmm. It's on here somewhere. Guess we gotta go back underground to find out. Ah, there's another. Yeah, Let's dig our way back out. And climb our way up to another goddess treasure. Which is an empty bottle. For those of you who want another one, uh, unfortunately. Well, I could replace my quiver with it. I might replace my stamina potion with it because rarely do I ever need a lot of stamina. Now I'm saying, the last boss in the game you might as well be hyper. Eh. Yeah, but I might not need stamina things for the final boss. Alright, so while we're in the Thunderhead, let's dive on top of the giant Kyogre whale thing and get his piece of the song re-get on my bird because we get alright let's visit him now seriously that happened again alright we're on top of the whale again Levias Aha! So you've learned all three parts of the song from the dragons, eh? You've done well, young one. True to my word, I will perform the last part of the song for you. Ahem. The song of the hero is now complete. Now that you know the song, I trust you know what to do with it. 
That old song opens a door to a great trial. Should you succeed in conquering the challenge awaiting you there, I'm certain the path to the Triforce, Triforce will be revealed to you. A report, Master. I've determined that there is a trial gate somewhere among these floating islands that can be opened by the Song of the Hero. I suggest you use your dousing ability to locate it. Alright, well, I'm in Beetle's shop because I was attempting to do his side quest, and he has an ellipses above his head, so let's see what he has to say. Oh. Valued customer, you're back. What? I don't seem like my usual self. I can't hide anything from you, can I? Well, I can't talk about it right now because I'm busy peddling. Why don't you lie down on the bed over there and rest? We can talk tonight. Well, if you're out of inventory, just stay on your island. Seriously. Other than it provides me a quick way to get there. But, before we go help Beetle, there is one last Goddess Cube treasure that we have to collect. Which, is actually right up here. I'm sure we could have gotten this during the daytime if we did some skillful riding, but I didn't want to risk it. So, we get our final item, which is the Rupee Medal! Alright, so... Again, it's nearly useless at this point in the game because the only time you need a lot of rupees is to buy the piece of heart Beetle gives you. Ah, oh, you've mounted my bed and rode the sleep, rode the sleep sheep through the fields of night once more. You are out like a log. I dare say you weigh as much as a log as well, and rather a large one at that. Pedaling with you on board has, has quite uh, innerv innervated me. It's quite all right, though, old bug. I'm actually getting rather used to it. You're getting me into cracking shape. But I would be remiss if I didn't let you know about of the weight on my heart. My precious horned Colossus Beetle has gone missing along with his cage. It's a tragedy that shatters a man to the core, plus such a rare insect and very friendly to boot. I'll find it. Ah, oh, truly? I must thank you. I shan't forget this. My precious torn Colossus Beetle, please go and find him with all haste. He abides out there, somewhere, all alone in the wild. I beg of you. Alright, so we're back on the Isle of Bugs, Bug Haven, whatever you want to call it, and we're talking to Stritch. Well, if it isn't Lake, how's life? Oh, you think I look happy? Well, I guess I can't help it. I mean, I did discover an insanely rare insect after all. Tell me. You want to know more, huh? Well, let's just say I managed to land on a legendary horned colossus beetle. It's pretty much a miracle that I found it. I can't stop laughing or smiling. I'm so happy my face hurts. What? You're saying this is Beetle's pet bug? The same Beetle who flies around in that shack selling his stuff? Junk? Give it back. So you really think a sob story like that's going to work on me? What a joke. I found this bug and it's all mine. I suppose it would be kind of mean to keep someone's favorite pet bug. But at the same time, I don't feel so bad that I'm going to give it right back. How about this? If you can pull off a time in my game that makes me admit you are the master of bug catching, I'll give this little guy back. So what's it going to be? Are you up for a challenge? We're... you're on. Alright, ten rupees. Got it. Within three minutes. Alright. Let's do this! Same bugs. Alright, come on. Link! Go up! I wasted literally like five seconds just because you wouldn't go back up. Don't worry about the Elden Rollers later. I don't care about the Hornets anymore. Butterfly. 
Mm. Link, stop getting caught in everything. <laughs> Angry. Angry. Oh, well, really? Alright, got you. Got you. Getting the ant. I just need to get that last Elven Roller. I need to get the, the Grasshopper and the Beetle, but... There's another Elven Roller. Alright, good. Alright, and the last Grasshopper and Stag Beetle are over here. I would have done it under two minutes had Link not been so derpy in the water. <laughs> but I didn't have to get it in under two minutes. It was three minutes. Okay, you've done it. Who would have thought that it would be easy for you to uh, so easy for you to break record time. Okay, okay. As I promised, here's the Horned Colossus Beetle. I have to admit, you're pretty a pretty tough competitor. I guess I won't be able to bug you anymore. <laughs> Oh, that was a bad pun. That was such a bad pun. Alright. Time to head back to Beetle. <laughs> <laughs>